you know when a movie's promotional campaign does an absolute disservice to the content of the film this is exactly that movie I have been looking forward to this release ever since we marked the start of the new year. Hrithik Roshan in a high octane action film directed by Siddharth Anand dedicated to the Indian Air Force. An attempt by the makers to integrate aerial combat in its action sequences an intimidating task indeed and I will be honest looking at all the promotional material leading up to the film's release I was keeping my expectations at bay. For the lukewarm quality of everything I saw already I mean the songs the forced dialogue bazi of patriotism the Pakistani trash talk almost like the characters were in a rap battle from 8 mile it It all seemed a bit off for me, reflecting even further in the substandard advance bookings for a film that was so highly anticipated. I am so glad the overall quality of the film proves otherwise. Fighter focuses on the conflict between India and Pakistan that mainly was occurring in the year 2019. The film directly references the Pulwama attack, where a convoy of vehicles carrying Indian security personnel on the Jammu Srinagar highway were attacked and took the lives of 40 CRPF personnel. The Balakot air strikes that were executed in retaliation to the same forms a part of the premise of fighter as the Indian Air Force forms a team of top aviators the group being called Air Dragons who execute the same the camaraderie brotherhood and trials and tribulations they face as a group in the midst of warfare against Pakistan post Balakot as Siddharth Anand creates a fictional villain across the border for storytelling purposes forms the basic premise of fighter Does Fighter have the capability to surprise us? Does Siddharth keep huge emotional and dramatic beats of the film at bay for the big screen? Here's me telling you the good and bad aspects of the movie so that you guys can ultimately decide whether to watch Fighter in theaters or not. The underwhelming aspects. Mid music. Hell, I have done a whole video on this because I'm so passionate about seeing Ritik Roshan dancing on the big screen, but whenever the creators get an opportunity with dancers like him, you just can't create a mediocre product or choreography, be it the steps being assigned to him or the way the music is pictureized. I believe the makers really assume that the audience will be blown away by singles like Sher Khul Gaye and Ishq Jaisa Kuch, but both the songs from a creative standpoint did not do favors for the film. Ishq Jaisa Kuch anyway is only being used for marketing the film versus being a part of the screenplay the problem actually of share khul gaye is not necessarily the choreography but it's the placement in the film when the villain announces war against india the movie abruptly cuts away to the indian air force partying and this abrupt tonality is something that definitely catches you off guard the most compelling song of the film actually is heer asmani where the team is bonding with one another and a song that still hasn't released called mitti mitti actually packs the emotional punch the film's promotional material otherwise is lacking making me wonder this heartbreaking number would have done far more than what the generic dance numbers did it also made me conclude that siddharth anand should understand that just because a template of the screenplay breaking into song and dance where you show pretty people dancing work twice it doesn't mean that it is going to have the same novelty the third time especially when the movie is dedicated to the indian air force some of these commercial elements do not need to be forced in every film one note villain and forced comedy the most polarizing aspect of fighter will undoubtedly be the antagonist azhar akhtar played by rishabh sawni for a debut role these are huge shoes to fill playing the antagonist in a commercial action film mounted on such a huge budget what's admirable about the effort is that the actor has a great presence in front of camera and has a stern and a no nonsense dialogue delivery throughout the film the only problem being that there is a lack of depth in his motivation and hatred for india but this creates a dichotomy within me because while i acknowledge the lack of depth in his character isn't it a breath of fresh air compared to the several flashbacks and sob stories we get to see in antagonists in commercial movies where essentially indian agents go rogue isn't it refreshing that a terrorist is simply bad because of the assumed brainwashing that has made him an animal i wouldn't lie i smirked a bit to see fighter pilots of pakistan also sporting coal in their eyes a sign of what makes a pakistani rogue coal in their eyes The film thankfully is not filled with comedic sequences that made me cringe but I am obligated to tell you moments brief indeed that made me roll my eyes out of the team the character of Sukhi is mostly handed over all the PJs seeing someone in disguise he says bahar se Karina andar se Saif 
There is also a sequence where one of the Indian pilots pretends to be a Russian while entering enemy airspace and it's the only comedic moment from the film that made me cringe and I found unnecessary. Thankfully, these elements have not led to the film's quality absolutely plummeting. As I previously said, the film has so much more to offer versus what the promotional material promised. The Good Introduction and Team Camaraderie One aspect of the film I was most skeptical about was whether Sid Anand will have the capability to make us care for the team of air dragons. But what is the most surprising element of Fighter compared to Sid Anand's last two blockbusters is that Fighter is possibly his most emotional action flick, making us genuinely empathize for the characters within the team and their presiding officer played by Anil Kapoor. Karan Singh Grover is the light-hearted source of the group, constantly joking around and having a special bond with Hrithik Roshan. Akshay Obroy playing the role of Bashir Khan slowly assimilates with Patty and the team. Mini played by Deepika also organically gets accustomed to each personality, especially the reason why Patty has such a tough exterior and attitude. The familial bond that develops amongst the team actually becomes the core of the film. Sanjeeda Sheikh and her dynamic with Patty extracts one of the most emotional scenes from the film, beautifully performed by both the actors. You would assume that the core focus may just be Hrithik Roshan but the film exceptionally explores the individual journey of Deepika Padukone too. The significance of women in the Air Force, the hurdles they have to face in making their presence the norm, and her familial dynamic actually extracts such a beautiful moment performed very well by Deepika and Ashutosh Rana. This is what I loved about the film. It wasn't just the glitz and high-octane action, but a genuine investment of time to several of the members of the team that made us care for their ultimate fate in life. Anil Kapoor puts forth such a stellar performance as the team CEO. There are several moments he shares with Patty where you acknowledge the underlying animosity between them through their eyes that well up often when one has faltered in the mission. You can clearly tell that their relationship goes beyond beyond just being a senior-junior dynamic. Anil Kapoor is probably in the best phase of his career, featuring in some of the most commercial projects with meaty roles, and he honestly leaves such a solid impression in this film. There are several moments in the movie where I did find myself get oddly emotional, and this is something that you cannot say for a lot of commercial movies. Stumbling Blocks not so much. One must acknowledge the fate of Bollywood aviation movies or those films based on the Indian Air Force. This is not a commentary on the lack of technology and the leaps that we have to make in order to reach the international standards and budgets, but the lack of connection and the impact that usually exists in these films where heroes are confined to the cockpits of their jets. Most Indian audiences love to see their heroes get their hands dirty, either in physical hand-to-hand -hand combat or by means of ammunition or weapons. The more meatier the combat sequence, the more close in proximity they are to the villain, the more sweet the revenge and satisfaction of a worthy villain being decimated. With movies like Hindustan Ki Kasam and Vijeta tanking, one wondered why there was such a disconnect with films great on paper but not raking in the numbers one would expect. What I loved about Fighter is that the biggest red flag was whether the aerial combat and dogfights would translate well on the big screen. And oh boy, they sure do. I saw the film on IMAX and of course, we don't have the technical capability like the gold standard but the screenplay and choreography of fighter jets are actually exhilarating, keeping you on your toes on who may be the next target or most vulnerable in the line of battle. This is a huge leap by Hindi film creators, as these technical portions often make Indian audiences scoff or laugh at our lack of ability. But Fighter really packs the punch in its action sequences. Barring the one moment in the climax where Rithik seems to fly like a superhero, I honestly cannot fault the aerial combat sequences or the exceptionally executed executed ambush scene with the commandos. Hrithik Roshan and his relationships. There is something magical in Hrithik Roshan's eyes. When they are filled with pride and happiness, with sorrow and grief, with despair and agony, Hrithik really has the ability to showcase a wide variety of these emotions with such effectiveness, especially with those eyes that take up most of the screen in Fighter, as the actor is found either in the cockpit or Siddharth Anand is adamant to do a close-up of his face, knowing very well Hrithik's ability to communicate Shamsher Pathania's emotional state. There are several scenes where I was in awe of Hrithik, having the ability to extract a genuine acting performance of range and depth, something that is otherwise lacking in so many commercial action films today. He shares such organic banter with Deepika. The music videos really did a disservice to an otherwise cute dynamic, which you will explore as the movie progresses. His friendship with Karan Singh Grover, his respect and distance with Anil Kapoor all make him the nucleus of the team. 
and Rithik looks like a million dollars in that uniform. When the film is light-hearted and Rithik with his magical smile can make the women weak in their knees, it is as effective as him being full of rage at the sight that he may be losing his brothers in combat. Rithik doesn't resort to the shaking we often associate with his emotional scenes. Just restrained yet effective in his role as Patty. He is such an anchor of this film. What I want to reiterate regarding the film is that the promotional material actually made us believe that this film is going to be dispersed with jingoistic dialogues and that it will be a cringe fest with Pakistani bashing being its only motive and it's so far from the truth. The film provides a constant reminder that the battle of India is with terrorism and not with the neighbouring state. It constantly brings up the fact that it is against extremists and those who take up arms against peace-loving nations versus Pakistan as a country. Yes, the film provides glimpses of the mass dialogues where the PM goes, Dikha do unhe baap kaun hai? or the IOP dialogue that has been much criticized by Rithik. But it is after every subsequent attack where the frustration of the characters peaks on our modus operandi of non-retaliation where these dialogues are present. The enemy is always the terrorist and not the nation and this becomes a recurring theme throughout the film. Setting in stone for me that the promotional campaign of this film actually did a huge disservice to the film and its content and the several themes it shed light successfully on, making it not only exhilarating but an emotional tale worth your time and money for the big screen. And that was the video guys. Write down in the comments below what you thought about Fighter. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle's right in front of you. Follow me at JammyPants4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.